playing well, isn't he? He Great started stuff. really well. Absolutely. Five. Well, that's a good reaction volley from Pilly. No chance of a let ball here, I don't think. I don't think Al even reacted, did he, to the ball? Well, it's all Pilly, isn't it, at the moment? Stretching Pilly out of his comfort zone. He's, he's really hitting within his range. And somehow he's got to get the ball moving away from Pilly and he's got to get, get the Australian stretching out. It's easier said than done when you're under the under the crotch. But that that's a perfect example. That ball into the front right really stretched Pilly out. And then once he's extended, it's hard for him to recover back to the central sort of position. Yeah. there by Cameron Pilly and again a bit of hold there on that forehand drive just broke just broke Leo Al's movement and just opens up the front of the court wow nicely finished again knows that forehand switch to the backhand Pilly's drop shot and it's set up the end of that rally I was born in Cornwall. Did you know that? Uh, I didn't. Uh, so I love a Cornish bat. There All you right. go, there's that awkwardness of Cameron Pilly. So hard to read in the front if you give him any sort of time. Brilliant space. improvisation there. I'll probably pick him up a bit there. Oh, the ball just rolled out the back left hand side wall. No, you're absolutely right. And Cameron Pilly finds himself with five match balls. This could be it. Well, the backhand drop served Cameron Pilly so well in this match, and it doesn't fail in there on match point. So, 35 minutes, Cameron Pilly dispatching a very dangerous Leo Al. Three games to love, taking it 11-6, 11-5, 11-5.